Okay, folks, uh, we're going to start looking at something called trigonometry. And uh, in trigonometry, uh, we're always, with this kind of trigonometry that we're doing today, we're going to be dealing with triangles that are right angles, okay? They have a 90 degree angle. And the cool thing with trigonometry, I mean, uh, recently we talked about Pythagorean theorem, and with that, if you know two sides, it doesn't matter which two sides of a right angle triangle, you can always find the third angle, no matter what. It's pretty cool. But trigonometry, I almost find cooler, <laughs> because in trigonometry, not only can you find uh, sides, if you don't know certain sides, you can also find angles, okay? Now, w this is always going to be 90 degrees in, in regular right angle trigonometry, but these two, these two angles right here, we're going to be able to figure out what they are as well. So it's even more powerful than Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so before we get into that, I have to get, get you comfortable with the idea of these three words here. We've got opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. Those words I want you to get used to. Well, if you have done Pythagorean theorem, you already know that the hypotenuse is always the longest side, no matter what. This is always the hypotenuse, okay? Adjacent is a word that means, usually it means like uh, B-side, okay? And the word opposite in trigonometry or with this triangle, I usually think of it as the word across, across. And um, so today I'm going to draw, hmm, let's see. Let's draw three things. Uh, let's draw yourself. This is you. Okay. Um, smile. There's your eyes. Uh, let's draw an alien with three eyes. Okay. There's our alien. Um, let's make them a uh, sort of humanoid alien. Uh, he's a little bit big. Let's shrink him down. We don't want to be. We want to be the same size as the alien, right? And then one more thing, we have to draw a, uh, let's draw a, let's say a dog. Um, I'll draw a rover. I'm not a very good artist, but there's a, I guess you could call him a wiener dog. And he's happy. But anyway, uh, the dog's a little big, actually. I don't want anybody to get hurt by this dog. It's supposed to be a friendly dog. There, he just licked a, a human. Sorry for the sound effects. <laughs> Okay, so to get comfortable with these words up here, um, I want you to imagine, if you will, that, I want you to imagine that you are standing. Ah, we're going to have to shrink you down here. There you go, let's shrink the alien. Shrink the dog. Okay, you are standing inside this triangle. Pretend it's a big field, and you're standing in there. Uh, over here is an alien. And uh, I'm just going to leave the alien in you for now. Now, according to you, where is the alien right now? And I want you to use the words that you see up here. We've got opposite, we've got adjacent, or hypotenuse. Where is the alien from where you are? You're standing inside the triangle. Well, in this case, the alien is opposite you. Okay? That is the answer I was looking for. But what happens if you were standing over here? Is the alien still opposite where you are? Well, it's not, because opposite you is across. It's across all the way across over here. Okay? The alien is beside you. Hmm. Which one of these words means beside? Well, we said before that the word adjacent meant beside. So the alien right now is adjacent to you. But that causes a problem because what happens if the alien was here? Isn't the alien still on the line that is beside you? Well, the way to not make a mistake there is to remember that the hypotenuse is always the hypotenuse, no matter what. Okay? The hypotenuse is always going to be the hypotenuse, no matter what. So if the alien was over here, that is the hypotenuse. And it doesn't matter if you're standing here or here. The alien is on the hypotenuse when it's over there. The only thing that changes, I was trying to make this hypotenuse look really nice here, but good enough. Um, 
The only thing that changes is if the alien is right here, it is not adjacent to you, it is opposite you. Okay? And if the alien were standing right here, it is not opposite, it is adjacent to you. And I need you to get really comfortable with this. So that if I put you right here and I say, where is the alien right now? You would say, oh, the alien is across from me. That is opposite. Okay? So you just have to get really comfortable with that. And I would just recommend practicing it. Keep listening or rewinding this video just so that you keep, you get really comfortable with opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse. The lucky thing is hypotenuse never moves. It's always there. Opposite and adjacent depend on where you are standing.